Alright, so in the previous video we just saw that even if we declared float here, which is a new kind of a data type, which I told that it would display decimal point numbers, we are not getting the uh, desired result. Because if when we divide 50 by 6, we already saw that it's go it needs to return 8.3333, something of that sort. But uh, the output that we are getting here is 8.0. Now, uh, you know, can you figure a way out for uh, making this work? Because this had to work, however. The reason is, you just need to say F, which stands for float. Once you add this F, now that we are you know confirming the java compiler that the number is absolutely a floating point and there is no ambiguity in that it being either a floating point or an integer because it's defined as an as a floating point by adding this uh, you know letter f now once again let's try to run it out now we have the right answer so that is about the float and the next kind of data type is uh, double because uh, I don't want to go in depth uh, we can find a lot of articles out there uh, talking about uh, you know what is known as a float and double and you can have a look at it but however I just want to go through by touching out all the concepts so this doesn't seem to be a purely theoretical and a boring uh, lecture so yeah uh, now I'm having double um, sum and sum and uh, it's going to be D and let me just uh, create yet another variable uh, let's let's see let me create another variable called float sum one okay now sum is so much and uh, let me get rid of you know the comments here right okay now let's uh, say sum1 it's pretty neat when it suggests the variables that I'm intending to type sum1 equals uh, you know 50 by 6 now it's important that you specify it's a float why because we are talking about sum1 which is uh, declared as a float here now again to use it we just need to say system dot out that print line and say sum one now what we are expecting is it's going to print out uh, the sum which is a double value and sum one which is a floating point number uh, because we have asked to print out both of them so let's see what happens now hmm pretty interesting right so uh, double this is the double value because uh, we, we've expected sum to be printed which is sum is a double and sum one is printed in the next line so this is the sum one value and uh, you know how do I check with that well let me just uh, uh, add a text here the double value is and then I'll add a plus mark which says concatenation you know what is this plus mark for this plus mark means combine two strings in other words technically speaking it is called as concatenating two strings but uh, it, you know it's like adding up two strings together and uh, asking it to be printed out so let's see the the double value is and then the float value is sum1 and if you don't add a plus here it's not going to be printed it's going to rather throw an error which I don't want it to be thrown out so I'm adding a plus here let's uh, run it out yeah pretty interesting right the double value is 8.3333333 so many times 4 and the float value is 8.33333 so this is uh, the idea behind declaring a double and a float and make sure you add D and F otherwise we would get right now I, I've taken out uh, F from here so let's see what happens now you see uh, the, the the issue was with the uh, you know the word that we have we were missing whether it's a D or an F so that's uh, the idea behind the double and a float and just for the sake of your knowledge let me just uh, 
you know let you know that uh, the size that the sum variable which is a double it consumes is size of a double in the memory how much memory does it consume it's going to consume 8 bytes while that of while that of a float is going to be 4 bytes but uh, practically speaking a double is much better than float because all the built-in functions most of them in Java uh, operates with double and uh, in most of the computers uh, the uh, execution speed with double is pretty high as opposed to float so usually people tend to prefer double versus float and also look at the accuracy here this is pointing to one two three four five six decimal points and this is going to be 16 let's look at this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 oops yeah that is going to be 15 now that is the accuracy because obviously it consumes more memory so uh, from this one you should understand that to con the takeaway of this uh, video lecture is that to concatenate you need to add a plus sign like here takeaway from this video is number one you need to add a plus sign for concatenation and number two you need to add appropriate D's and F's based on the declaration and if I try to add an F here and make a D here obviously it's going to throw me an error right away because it cannot upgrade a float to a double but it can obviously downgrade a double to a float which we will be discussing when, when we talk about casting and uh, things of that sort but at this point it's sufficient if you know and by the way integer double float all of these are called as primitive data types